Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my updated summer wash day routine and this video is also sponsored by Aquas. If you haven't heard of them, they're pretty much the people who started the hair towel trend so I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on one of their hair turbans today. Now, I recently have been trying to treat my wash day as a self-care ritual and not a dreaded event. So here I'm just showing you guys what my setup is before I hop into the shower. Now, once I'm in the shower, I'm just going to, of course, detangle and cleanse my hair. Now this is a two week old protective style that I wore as a braid out for the last week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my hair down and then grab my Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder, which is my favorite detangler lately. You know this if you've seen my review on the product. So check that video out if you haven't heard of this product. But basically what it does is it cuts down on your detangling time and also cuts down on your breakage. Now I bag Badly need a trim and I didn't realize how badly I needed one until I hopped in the shower for this wash day because my hair was much more difficult to detangle and I had more breakage than usual so if you notice those symptoms when you're doing your hair you may need a trim but this is what each section looks like after I detangle it. So once I detangle my hair, I go ahead and cleanse my hair. And you can use a shampoo or a co-wash. Today I opted for a moisturizing shampoo. And as you can see, I like to shampoo underneath my hair and only at the root. So that way I don't disturb the hair I just detangled and I don't get any knots. And I sometimes won't use a conditioner after my shampoo because I'm gonna be deep conditioning right after this step and my hair is already soft and moisturized from the detangler. If you've ever noticed when you're in the shower for a really long time, your fingertips get kind of pruney. And the same thing that's happening to your fingertips is also happening to your hair and it's called water fatigue. And water fatigue is basically when water settles into your hair to the point that your hair strand swells and it's more susceptible to breakage and also to damage because it's not at the same level of strength that it would be if your hair was dry. This aquas towel is designed to zap the water out of your hair so that you can cut down on your susceptibility to damage and breakage by bringing your hair from wet to dry 50% faster than a standard towel or t-shirt. Now, I typically use t-shirts. You guys have seen me use them pretty much ever since I started my channel, but I prefer this turban because it really does dry my hair quicker. And also, I just feel more elevated and refined using it as opposed to like a holy like throwaway shirt. I'm all about elevating my vibes right now so this has been helping me out so now I'm gonna move into my deep conditioning stage and I'm using this Brahmi root hair mask by Baskin Bloom today I really love this deep conditioner I've already done a review on it but it really helps to make my hair fluffy and soft and shiny and the ingredients in it are impeccable then I'm gonna use this Brio Geo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and I'm gonna be double masking today so I'm going to focus the Brio Geo mask on my crown to help with restoring the moisture and also just adding some protein to that area to help make it stronger. And then on top of the deep conditioner mask, I'm going to use this new Jamaican Black Castor Oil Serum from Natural Club. This is a Jamaican Black Castor Oil mix with some lemon essential oil in it. And the lemon just helps to cut the viscosity of the oil so it's not so thick and hard to apply and it also makes it smell really good like citrusy and refreshing and I'm just gonna use it on my ends to trap and seal in the deep conditioner and then I'm also gonna apply it to my scalp to help promote hair growth by stimulating my scalp and letting the blood flow to my follicles and just feeding it really good stuff so like I said I'm trying to make my wash day more of a self-care ritual and just a nice relaxing luxurious experience so I'm going to apply my shower caps and sit under my hooded dryer for 45 minutes on the low setting and then I usually like to take my shower caps off let my hair cool off for about 10 minutes and then rinse everything out with cold water and then style my hair and here I'm just applying two shower caps to make sure I get my edges because I want those deep conditioned as well after rinsing out my deep conditioner I use my hair turban again to quickly get my hair from soaking wet to damp 
And something that was annoying about using a t-shirt is that it constantly slipped off. Like if I went to pick something off the floor, it would fall off my head and I constantly have to readjust it. But this turban is very easily like securely held in place and I don't have to worry about it moving and it's really comfortable to wear. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and move into styling. As you can see, my deep conditioner left my hair juicy and soft and fluffy, which is what I love to see. So my product of choice for today is the Onion Handmade Hairdo Moisturizing Leave-In Lotion. I picked this product because it's really good at giving long lasting moisture and it also does give some soft hold and definition so I get moisture but I don't need to use a gel to also get hold. And so the way that I'm applying this is just by smoothing it really thoroughly through my hair. Since I'm doing a wash and go, I want to make sure that every strand is getting some of the product and that I smooth all of my strands down so that my hair doesn't get too frizzy. I'm going to take my time with this process, breaking all of my larger sections into smaller sections. And that way I do all the work on wash day and my wash and go last at least for four to five days. And as I was styling my hair, I really was noticing how badly I needed a trim. I had just detangled my hair, but it was still tangling when I was parting to style. So pretty soon I'm cutting off at least maybe like half an inch to an inch. I'm not going to go crazy, but it's about that time. So to kind of disguise the fact that my hair needed a trim and also to make my ends smoother, I'm gonna twirl each quadrant on my fingers. So the ends of my hair, I'm just gonna twirl them around and smooth them out. Now my last step is to apply an oil to help seal the moisture into my hair. So I'm just taking some argan oil and applying that to the length of my hair and then also my ends. And in the summer, I like to limit the amount of products that I use to style so that my hair doesn't get weighed down and I get a more voluminous and carefree look. And this is my result. So I'm gonna let this air dry overnight and here is the final product. So my hair is moisturized, soft, defined, and also it has a little volume on the first day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God. Oh. Why are you look really sexy? Did you go to someone new? No, there. Why you go to him? This is the guy I'm used to. Yeah. But it looks beautiful. You look good. You look very good. Oh my god. You better not go to work tomorrow talking about it. I'm serious. Oh my god. I'm on the ship. I'm so serious. So, uh, I'm on the ship. Last well, time you were on the ship, somebody was looking at you. Well, yeah, but it's. Yeah, no. You're very cute. Thank you. You should take a picture. Okay. Okay. Love you. Me too. You want to go on camera? I don't know. I hope you don't mess up my light. <laughs>